I was aware of the fandom in India. I was not aware that it was so uh, massive. You you give me a, some information there, but uh, that's very exciting, and I'm 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 really hoping you guys can uh, all get in and see this picture as soon as possible because it's uh, as I was saying earlier, we made it for for you guys. I would absolutely give Bollywood a shot. Uh, hell yes, I would. And uh, would I love to visit India? I would love to shoot a film in India. I would love to go there by myself, uh, independent of work. Uh, and be amongst the culture and, and see the people and, and you have beautiful land and play. I would love that. Hi, sir. My name is Disha. I'm from News 18 in India. So I wanted to start off by asking is that Kang has a very uh, unique relationship with time in MCU. If it were in your hand, which of the OG Avengers would you cross paths with in this uh, multiverse time? Who would I have crossed paths with? Ken? Yes. No, Ken, as Ken. You know what? I was speaking to a colleague of yours, and I think the most interesting, uh, uh, what I'm interested in in the moment, would probably, would probably be to visit some of the um, uh, original uh, Avengers, you know, who began this. You know, uh, I'm here... Uh, the new guy, you know, starting phase five. Uh, I really admire and and look up to uh, the Avengers in the earlier phases. So I'm already dealing with Ant Man, and so that that's big and that's great. I would like to take a look at. Uh, um, I love Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man, so I think I think I gotta see Iron Man. You know, at some point, I think I would love to see um, uh, 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 Black Widow. At some point, you know, I think I would like to see, um, I mean, the Hulk, you know, uh, Thor, you know, but I, if I were to pick one, I would say Iron Man. I think that would be a really, really, it'd be old school versus new school. I think that could be cool. Marvel has a massive fan following in India. We've seen, uh, the, you know, in the past three, four years, minus the pandemic, we've seen movies come in and shatter box office records. Are you aware of the fandom in India? Have you come across Indian fans? I, I have. I was aware of the fandom in India. I was not aware that it was so uh, massive. You, you're giving me a, some information there, but uh, that's very exciting, and I'm 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 really hoping you guys can uh, all get in and see this picture as soon as possible because it's uh, as I was saying earlier, we made it for for you guys. You know, we made it for the people. So, yeah, I didn't know that. If given a chance, would you want to visit India? And uh, if given a chance, would you give Bollywood a shot? Uh, yes, I would absolutely give Bollywood a shot. Uh, hell yes, I would. And uh, would I love to visit India? I would love to shoot a film in India. I would love to go there by myself, uh, independent of work. Uh, and be amongst the culture and, and see the people and, and you have beautiful land and play. I would love that, you know, so yeah, 110%. As far as I've read, I don't think you've visited India, have you? No, I've not visited. All right. If you ever come, I think I would tell you to go to a lot of places like Rishikesh and just explore the Himalayas before you come to Bollywood, of course. Of course. On my way to work. <laughs> My last question is, while all of us are looking forward to seeing you in Ant-Man 3, we're also excited to see you uh, return in Loki Season 2. I'm not going to ask you any spoilers, but if you could describe the new season in just two sentences, how would you describe it? Well, I can only speak to Loki Season 1, to be honest. All right. And, okay, if you have to explain... Like, uh, describe your experience of working with Paul Rudd. Could you tell us a little more on that? Yeah, my experience with Paul was, um, it was uh, it was quite cozy, you know. I, I feel like I was coming into his house. Uh, he, it's his team, you know, he's our quarterback and captain. Um, but we also have the energy of uh, Peyton Reed there, who's our director. Uh, but Paul is such a warm energy, such an inviting energy. And it allows you to feel a certain amount of security uh, within your work. And so the more he got to, you know, be Scott Lang, you know, the freer he was. And he was very free on set. 
uh, the more free I felt to continue my exploration of Kang. And, and ultimately it was, it was a big help having him around as I was building Kang every day at work. You know, I, I had not played him before. Uh, everything was new to me. And so the fact that he was so steady in his understanding of the world and of the character really gave me something uh, sturdy to push up against, you know, and to challenge as I began to build and grow and, and really understand uh, Kang the Conqueror. All right, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for talking to me and all the best for Antoine. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.